you want to know how well your website is performing in search results. One way you can do that is by using Google Search Console's performance reports. Let's talk about the performance reports and the types of metrics you can find there. Now there are two different ways that your navigation may look. By default, you'll see a link that says performance. This will take you to the report telling you about your performance in search results. However, if your website shows up in Google Discover, you'll see a performance section. Within the performance section, you'll see a link that says search results, and you can click on that link to view your results and your performance within Google's organic search listings. Once you get there, the performance report will tell you four metrics, clicks, impressions, CTR, and average position. Clicks represents the number of times that people clicked on a search result and came to your website. Impressions shows you how many times your website appeared in different search results over this time range. CTR is a calculation of those two clicks divided by impressions, and it gives you a way to understand how many people as a percentage who saw a search result containing your website decided to click on that search result. Next, we have the average position. This is the average of the positions your website showed up in across all queries, across all pages, over this time range. When you arrive on the performance report, you'll by default only see clicks and impressions in the trend graph and in the details report below the trend graph. So you'll want to turn on CTR and average position. To do that, you can just click on CTR and click on average position. Now the trend graph shows you how these metrics are performing over time. You can see if things are getting better, if things are getting worse. Below the trend graph, you can see queries, pages, countries, devices, search appearance, and dates. Queries shows you all the different search terms people used to find your website. For each individual search term, you can see the clicks, the impressions, the click-through rate, and the average position your website showed up in when somebody conducted that search. We can also see metrics broken out by page. That way you can see which pages might be performing better in terms of total click volume, impressions, which ones have a better CTR, which pages happen to be ranking better, and this gives you an idea of which pages you may want to prioritize and focus on. We can also look at countries to see where people are located when they are conducting a search and finding our website. We can look at the different devices people are using to find our website. We then have search appearance. Search appearance gives us a way to understand all the different ways that our website's search results might be marked up with different kinds of rich results or videos included in them. This is a great way to know if your schema is working or not. For example, when you use FAQ schema and you create FAQ rich results, are more people coming to your website who see that FAQ schema, those FAQ rich results, or not? If more people are coming to your website, when you include that schema, when you mark up those search results and make them a rich result, maybe you wanna use more schema. Dates give you a breakout of all these metrics by individual date. This can be easier to spot trends across different dates than using the trend graph above. Now, by default, we're looking at web searches over the last three months, but we can change these filters. Instead of looking at web results, we can filter to different search types. For example, we can look at image or video or news search types. We can also compare two different search types. So we can look at web compared to video. And we can see if video does a lot better than web or has a better click-through rate. This way we can understand the different kinds of content that we're creating and how that might be helping our search performance. We can also filter by date. Google Search Console lets you go back up to 16 months. So we can see how things are trending over the last 16 months, the last 12 months, the last six months, or we can compare different time ranges and see how the last 28 days did year over year, or we can see how the last three months performed compared year over year. We can also do a custom comparison as well. Along with filtering by search type or date, we have other kinds of filters available. We can filter by a particular query. For example, we could look at all queries containing our brand name. We can also filter to specific pages. For example, if all of our blogs are contained in a blog directory, 
we could filter for any URLs containing blog. We can also filter by country or we can filter by device. So we could see how search results look specifically for desktop or specifically for mobile. We can also compare desktop versus mobile to see which one is performing better. And finally, we can filter by search appearance. That way we can really drill in to those different types of search appearances or compare how different types of search appearances work for our website. If you want to export any of this data into Excel for further manipulation or storage on your own, you can come up into the upper right corner and click export. If you have any questions about the performance reports or need help working through any of the data contained on the performance reports, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you found this video helpful and informative, please subscribe for more videos like this from Elementive. Thank you for watching.